Happy Friday, everybody! It's Friday, March 20th, and it's the first day of spring. And guess what else it is? It's Mrs. Lucas's birthday! So come on inside and see what kind of fun things we're going to do today. Welcome in, guys! So that's right, you heard it. It's really Mrs. Lucas's birthday. I told you, Jacqueline, we're March babies together. So today, I thought we could do some fun things. Because we can't celebrate together at school, we're gonna bring the party to you. So here I have my special party bag, and inside, what is that story? Oh my goodness, if you give a pig a party, that is one fun story. So I do not have the story with me today, but I have linked you up on Remind. All mom and dad have to do is go on Remind, and you're gonna click that link, and on that link, it's going to take you to this story where somebody is reading you if you give a pig a party. And in keeping with that party theme, I thought we could actually do a fun little craft. And I know how you guys love to do art. So, da 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 da, we are gonna make a party hat today. So today, I actually have some special guests, boys and girls. Today, I have Mrs. Hines here. Everybody say hi, Mrs. Hines. Hi, boys and girls. And I also have Cameron with us today. Everybody say hi, Cameron. Hi. So today, we're going to do a little fun activity with just some awesome things that you have around the house. Things like masking tape, um, paper, and if you can do it with cardstock, that would be even better because it really works well with cardstock. Um, and if you don't have masking tape, you can use washi tape, you can use blue painter's tape, you can use scotch tape, anything's actually really gonna work. So, um, and we even had a little brainstorm. Cameron and I said, you know what, if they don't have cardstock, if they don't have cardstock at home, you could even use, we actually use a Starbucks bag, but you can even cut, cut apart um, a gift bag that you have at home. All right, so anything that's kind of hard, maybe like a piece of cardboard, and again, card stock, card stock works really good. And all card stock is, guys, is just that heavy paper. And I'm sure that lots of mommies have that laying around their house when they thought they were gonna start scrapbooking and never finish, just like Mrs. Lucas. So um, it's really, really a fun, easy activity. Cameron and I have done this a few times um, at camp. And so what you're gonna do is, you're going to actually start with a piece of card stock and some tape. And all you're going to do is make a triangle. You're gonna take this, you're gonna pull two pieces of tape off and you're gonna make a triangle. And then when you're done, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna lay pieces of tape any way that you want. Diagonal, diagonal, straight, crossways, whatever way you would like to do it. And that's gonna actually make a design. And once you make that design, you're going to use whatever you have around the house. Crayons, markers, watercolors, and then we're gonna show you what to do. You're gonna actually take those little squares and you're gonna take a crayon, and go ahead, Mrs. Hines, and you're gonna pick a little section and you're gonna color that little section all the way in. And you're gonna keep coloring really hard until all of that is filled in. And then once it's filled in, Cameron's gonna hold this up and show you what it's actually gonna look like. Why don't you walk around and show them a little closer. And once your design looks like that, then you're gonna start peeling off all the tape. And once you peel off all that tape, it's almost like a stained glass window. There's gonna be a beautiful design behind it. All right? And so that's what your party hat's gonna look like. And then um, I just took some tissue paper that I had laying around the house, but you can use whatever. You could use a pom-pom if you might have it around the house. You can use plain paper and just cut strips. Um, but I just chose to use um, a little tissue paper. But Cameron and I also had an idea where at the top you could use some of that tissue paper. You don't have to just crinkle it up. You can add a little glue there. And once you glue the top, you can just make little strips here for the top of your party hat. And you can put it all over the top and you can add, make the top to your hat. Okay, guys? So in the end, it's gonna kinda look like this. 
All right, and there you have your party hat. So I just wanted to share with you one more thing. It's a lot of fun. Um, you can also take a piece of paper, cardstock, whatever you have around the house, and you can actually spell your name. So boys and girls, what's this letter? I know you know it. And how about the middle letter? And the last letter? That's right, C-A-M. And if we stretch that out with our rubber bands, C-A-M. What's it spell? Cam. That's Cameron's nickname, right? So I'm going to have her take that closer to the screen. And when you're all done, she actually watercolored that. So she spelled her name in tape on the piece of paper. Then she watercolored over the whole thing. And then she's going to peel it off and it's just like magic. You're going to be able to see her name behind it. Wait till you see this, boys and girls. It's super duper awesome. Really, really cool. Almost there. One last piece. One last piece and hold that up. And so once you've watercolored over it and you peel the tape off, your name is gonna come out really nice and neat. So I think that would be really cool for you to do. So anyways, I hope this brings you a little bit of joy and a little bit of fun today. And I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor. So all this time, I've been coming to you via YouTube channel. I'd like to see what you've been doing, boys and girls. So a few people have reached out to me and sent me some emails. Luke and Ava, the very first day um, when I did the directed drawing with the leprechaun, they actually did the directed drawing and sent me pictures of their leprechaun. So I absolutely love that. And then yesterday when I did, if you give a pay, um, if, don't let the pigeon drive the bus, um, Giovanni's mom sent me a picture of him following along in his own book while he was reading. He happened to have the book at home. And then a picture of him working on his directed drawing. So I'm going to ask you boys and girls right here. I love this board. It says, be nice and leave a note. So we're actually not going to leave a note. I'm going to ask you to email me some pictures of you doing the activities that we've worked on all week, okay? It can be a directed drawing. It really can be anything that you've done all week. I'd love to see it because I miss you, um, and I feel like it's been so long since I've seen you, so it would really brighten my birthday day if I got some emails from you with pictures showing me all the cool things that you've done, all right? So I just want to say that I love you guys, I miss you, and um, be looking out for more of our videos, all right? And Bye, boys and girls. Bye, guys.